I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will see the characteristics of binomial experiment. So basically it is a random probability experiment with some criteria, right? We will look into that. So the criteria is that this random probability experiment is well defined and will have different trials. So in this particular binomial experiment, all the trials should be independent. So we have, we could perform trials which are all independent. So we have independent trials. Probability of, or I should say the possible outcomes are only two. Only two, which could be either success or failure. Right? Now, another important thing here is that probability of success should remain same all throughout. So possible outcomes are only two and then probability of success remains same. Uh, we normally say letter P lowercase. Now, whenever you have an experiment, you will have limited number of trials. So let me add that also. So we'll have defined or limited number of trials. So we'll define this as N. N is the number of trials. And probability of success is P. Right. So obviously for failure it will be normally you say Q which will be 1 minus P. Okay. So we have n number of trials out of which the probability of success is P and probability of failure will be 1 minus P. So we have only two options success or failure. So that is what our binomial experiment is. Now in any binomial experiment, when we are having a trial, it's very important to understand a criteria that is, we have to define a random variable. That random variable is what we are looking for. The output of random variable is what we are looking for. So a random variable is defined in a bi binomial experiment, let's say it is x, which gives you criteria. for success or failure. Correct? So, so in a binomial experiment, we are looking for the random variables result, which could be a success or a failure, right? And we have n number of trials. So we're trying to find out answer to one question. So what is the expectation of X to be a success in N trials? So that is the kind of question we are looking for. And we say, well, we are saying we'll have a distribution of that. So we say, what is the expectation of X to be success in N trials? And then say, what is the probability assigned to each element of X, right? So each element of X. So that, that becomes a function, right? So that becomes a function F of X. So we're looking for this distribution and the distribution of f of x so distribution 
of the probability of this random variable, which you say f of x, is actually binomial distribution. Do you understand? So these are main things. We'll actually take up a uh, few examples and elaborate more on this. So at times we say, well, binomial distribution could be written like this, where in brackets we may write n comma p. So that indicates that this experiment which we have performed is a binomial experiment where there are n number of trials and in each trial the probability of success is p, right? So that gives you all the things which we have come across. One is n, the number of trials, right? And p, the probability of success. Do you see that? So in short, we may write the results as this. There's a binomial experiment with n number of trials and where p is the probability, right? So that is how we can actually write it in general, okay? Now I'm not giving you any formulas or elaborating on this. Now we'll move on to the next video and see how to evaluate this binomial distribution, correct? So we'll more talk about more about binomial distribution in the next video. But I hope in this you have understood what binomial experiment is. Now if you look into the criteria which we have had, all this, all this is what? All this is only referring to Bernoulli's trials. So we can write this here as Bernoulli's trial. So in short, I could say binomial experiment is one in which each trial is a Bernoulli's trial. Do you understand? So Bernoulli's trial is all this, that every trial should be independent. That is, the results of the next trial should not be affected by the previous one. We need to restore all the conditions so that every trial is as it was the original trial. And therefore, the possible outcomes will have the same probability, but the possible outcomes always remain to success or failure. Probability of success will give P so that once we have the numbers with us, we can actually analyze those numbers and work with the expected values. That's the whole idea. So in short, binomial experiment will be one in which each trial satisfies the conditions for Bernoulli's trials. Do you understand? So that is how it is. And that's a short form of writing it. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.